Liquor Heroes. What the fuck? I thought NC only played console games. I hear you saying, dear viewer. And while that is mostly true, I do have some games from the PC that I enjoy. You know, shit like Spore, Balloons Tower Defense, Sm <laughs> Sorry, couldn't say it with a straight face. <clears throat> so, here we are talking about one of those OG games on Congregate. Dear sweet clicker heroes. My enjoyment of this game from freshman year got revived when I saw that it had been ported for console and was still free to play. So, naturally, I downloaded it and immediately. Wait, what the fuck? 32 days! The fuck happened in the month of April? Oh god, did I even take my finals? Where the- just- what? Uh, how have I already been playing for a month? It feels like I started a few days ago. Well, that's actually the point of the game. Well, game might be a misnomer in all fairness, but more on that later. The point of the game is to let as much time pass between you starting this game and finishing it. If you look on the Congregate website, this game is listed as an idle adventure game. Which means you make progress in the campaign of the game, <laughs> campaign, while you aren't playing it. The game opens with you just kind of looking at a monster. You know, these fugly uckers. And all you have is a bunch of vibrantly colored shit telling you what to do. Which is, of course, to kill these beasties without a hesitation or mercy by clicking a button repeatedly. On PC, it was the left mouse, on PS4, it's the square button, and on the Xbox, I personally don't give a fuck what it is. <clears throat> Sony, P Sony Superior. Yeah. So, once you've killed the monsters enough times, you get to move up in an area, which brings in a new batch of monsters to kill that have more health and take longer to kill. When monsters die, they drop gold. And don't even get me started on why the fuck random monsters in games always seem to have a larger wallet than me on them when they die. Seriously, it's like the video game trope that makes no fucking sense. You then take the gold you've made and hire heroes to do the work for you. And by that I do mean they literally do the work for you. You don't have to bloody your thumbs clicking your way through corpse after corpse because now these little bastards are gonna murder everything for you. Power of capitalism, am I right? Hire people to make you more money. Now that's economics for you. Speaking of which, let me explain that misnomer comment from earlier. So this game, this one right here, is not a game. It's an experience. Whoops. Wrong video. It's the world's most interactive and strangely enjoyable math class. The exponential growth equations that I've solved and mapped out playing this game has broken through to this is homework levels of math. Sadly enough, I learned more about algebraic equations and economic models playing this game than I did in my college algebra and economics classes. Seriously, who needs college when you've got colorful and stupidly addicting math games online for free? But in C, I hear you say, what do you do after you beat the game? <laughs> beat Clicker Heroes. Huh. You don't beat Clicker Heroes. You beat Minecraft. You beat GTA. Let me say this quick and easy. You can't beat Clicker Heroes. The game literally doesn't end. So what do you do when your progress comes to a screeching halt? Well, you ascend to heaven. Which in this game means you respawn the world anew back at level 1. Except now, you have hero souls. Which increase the amount of damage your heroes do, meaning you progress faster and farther, and you would go again and 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 again until you've gone mad with power and it takes you an hour to blow through 500 levels and you ascend three times a day. On the real though, I have done that. It's not the kind of life I'm proud to admit to, but then again, I did play Destiny. So I am used to giving up my life to a game. That being said, this is a dumb fun kind of game that is almost as addicting to me as coffee. And that's saying something, because I actually get a serious fucking headache if I don't have coffee. If you need a good fix for your idle boredom, then I seriously recommend you avoid this game at all costs. Seriously, it's bad for your health. One minute you're just casually watching monsters die, leveling up your heroes, and the next minute you're pushing off leaving to go to class so you can get to a better farming spot, and then your actives are ready, 
and then you gotta wait for the autosave, and it's okay, I've got enough time for another level. Next thing you know, you're passed out on the floor because you forgot to eat, sleep, and drink for the past few days because you are on a primal hunt. Seriously guys, please send help. I've got an addiction that doesn't have a rehab center dedicated to it. Hello, my obedient masses. It is I and C, and I really hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, be sure to like it and leave a comment. On a real note, I do love this game and encourage you all to try it out if you want to better understand basic economic principles. If you want to see more Clicker Heroes content, do let me know. I might even make some tutorial videos to help give you all the edge going into your first ascension. In the meantime, I've been NC, and this has been A Fair Review. Ooh.